Hello YouTube, this is Generic JD or Just JD. Uh, back from a long absence today with the Common Rider Deluxe Henshin Belt, the Liangle Buckle, the Henshin Device for Common Rider Liangle from Common Rider Blade. And here we have the Liangle Buckle done in a very nice purple, gold, silver with uh, a bit of black on the ends here. Uh, you've got the black, gold, and silver over here and the uh, the nice belt strap with the card design that we've grown accustomed to uh, done in the same purple. The uh, the front has a, a very intricate sculpting that I'm, I'm really a fan of uh, that also manages to hide the speaker very nicely right in here. Um, you've got your typical on-off switch on the top and the battery door on the back, two triple A's along with a somewhat plain design on the back, but it still ends up looking pretty good for the back side of a belt. The belt comes with uh, several items. The typical buckle for the back of the belt with the uh, the clover or club, whichever you call it, which is uh, Garen's uh, Liangle's motif, as well as the other half of the belt strap with the same card design and the other end of the buckle. The belt also comes with three rouse cards which we'll look at now. Alright, and here we have the three rouse cards that the, the the angle buckle comes with. The change ace card, the change spider, which is his henshin card and the only show accurate card of the bunch. Um, you, you all already know my opinion on show accurate cards. Um, but the change on the side, the spider with the large club in the center, with a uh, chain spider written on the bottom here, typical rouse card back, a uh, club two card saying Liangle with common Rider Liangle on the bottom, and a picture of Liangle holding a card on the top here. Um, I don't particularly care for show accurate or for non-show accurate cards. The three of clubs, which says buckle, says uh, henshin belt, liangle buckle, and it has a uh, liangle with a belt about to self-destruct for whatever reason, um, much like the cards that came with the other belts. Again, not too much of a fan of those. So we will look at the sounds those cards make shortly. For now, let's get back to the belt itself. So, to begin the henshin process, we will start by turning the belt on, which will make a very familiar sound for anyone who has looked at any of the other uh, Kamen Rider Blade toys. After the confirmation beep, we will uh, open this tray on the side here, revealing a uh, nice translucent plastic with uh, a rather nice uh, sculpting in here, similar to the purple design over here. Slide the change ace card in, or any card, or no card, because there's no card reader in this device, just like the other belts in the series. Slide that back in, take our other buckle, plug it in, which will depress this button and begin the sequence. So we slide the plate open, the belt declares open up, and reveals this very nice translucent yellow club with a uh, gold outline, or I'm sorry, orange outline, um, with the silver more purple design in here, and has three flashing LED lights that will continue to blink for the duration of the time the toy is on. Closing the belt makes no sound, and reopening it will give the henshin sound again. Very nice. Um, so, if we remove this, as you can see, you don't require the belt to be in to do the transformation, you just need it for the initial standby sound. So, let's turn that off and look at the cards. So, here to test the function of the cards, we have the very massive Liangle Rouser, which barely fits into the frame. Being a, uh, a polearm type of weapon, that is to be expected. So, let's turn this on and check out the card sounds. Now, as a reminder, since these are club cards, these will only work in either the Liangle Rouser or the Blay Rouser, which can rouse all cards. So, we'll start by sliding the Change Ace through. And we get Change. Take the Liangle card. Henshin. 
Wonderful. And the buckle card. And another henshin. What a big surprise that the cards that come with the henshin belt say henshin. In conclusion, the, uh, the Liangle buckle is your typical blade belt uh, featuring limited functionality as far as sounds go and uh, not too much to do but to look at it. If you're looking for a fun belt, I would have to pass on this one only because it makes all of four sounds and provides you with cards that you can't even use unless you have a rouser of some kind. Um, if you're a collector of blade like myself, or if you're a massive fan of Liangle for whatever reason, um, then of course go ahead get it. Um, it looks very nice to display, but again doesn't really do much. So the, uh, the call is yours on that one. They're not too expensive, most of the blade belts aren't because of that limited functionality, so if you're looking for something cheap then you can also go for this, but again don't expect much play value out of it. Alright, so uh, thank you for watching. If you have any uh, comments, suggestions, or anything of that sort, put that in the, uh, the comments below. Um, hopefully I will be getting back into regular reviewing. Uh, coming up hopefully in the near future will be the Liangle Rouser review, um, which would be the next logical step, of course. I do intend to finish off the, uh, the Deluxe Blade toys, and after that I will be looking for, uh, for requests proper. Um, so thank you all for watching, and I will uh, see you all next time.